What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about this Cull O-Ring. Um, it's a kind of ink testing book. So this I've had for a while now. Um, I've purposely left a lot of these blank while I was using up uh, the old um, way that I do like collect ink samples and stuff like that. Um, which I'm thinking about doing a potential update to um, how I store my um, ink samples and like writing samples and stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, but this, uh, printed at Skylab Letters, um, designed by Well Appointed Desk. So it, this is sold in multiple different places. Um, but what I like about about this um, is that it is literally in a ring. Uh, you can flip it around to whatever you want. <clears throat> These are hard cardboard pieces, so it does kind of protect them. Um, and you can just kind of flip it up and have it right here. Um, I have seen some people do it so it goes right literally to the very edge um, so that you see all the different ink at the bottom here. That's not the way that I've done mine, um, but you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, these are definitely up to your interpretation. Uh, so this one is Sailor Gentle Apricot. Um, I've got Sailor Gentle Sky High, uh, Grenade, Four Seasons Okuyama, Bung Box Espresso, Noodler's Lexington Gray, and Kiro Iro Moonlight of uh, Higashi Yama uh, and Montegrappa coffee. This is just a little bit of a selection. Um, like I said, I was using my other method for the most part, um, and I've only really just started using this one. Um, but right away, I can tell that I do like it. Um, I really like the paper. I like that it's super, super white so that it's going to show 100% um, of the color. Um, I love the thickness of the cards, so it definitely doesn't go through. Um, you could, in fact, probably use it uh, double-sided um, unless you like pour, pour on the ink. Because um, if I hold it up to the light, then you can see through it, but um, you could probably definitely use both sides. Um, I always put it on uh, two layers on top here, and then I leave one layer down below um, that just has one layer so that you know what the ink would look like in a very, very wet pen, and you would know what the ink looks like in probably an everyday writer, dry writer kind of thing. Um, and I do that, of course, for all of my inks. Um, what I uh, like about this is that you can even, uh, where is it actually? There it is. You can separate the ring and you can take out your colors. So if you want all of Sailor to be together, uh, all of Noodlers to be together, all of whatever, um, you don't necessarily have to ink it in that order. You don't have to wait, maybe guess, okay, maybe I'm going to have about 10 Noodlers, so let's flip to that. Um, you can you can rearrange and do whatever you want. Um, and this is really sturdy. Like, I've never had an issue with this ring, uh, and I really appreciate that. Uh, it's super, super easy um, to make any kind of ink selection. So I'm gonna do one right now. Um, so I usually just get like any basic pen um, because when I'm doing an ink sample, I don't necessarily have this inked up. Um, and I used to wait um, before, <clears throat> sorry, to do uh, an ink swab. I used to wait until I actually had this ink inked up to write down what it was. Um, but the problem was is that now that I have so many, um, I tend to forget. <laughs> So then I will use an ink and then realize, crud, I forgot to do a swab. Um, so this is Diamine Earl Gray. Uh, I definitely had to get a sample of this because, of course, it's literally both my favorite things. It is ink and it's a tea, sort of. Um, so let me just get this going. So I get a Q-tip. I saturate the end of it, just kind of wipe off the excess. Then I immediately put the lid back on, 
because I have had accidents in the past and they are no fun. Um, and then I just swab. So like I said, that's one pass. I let that dry a little, little bit. Just kind of let the first layer soak in a little. And this paper goes pretty quickly. It's not like, I wouldn't call it absorbent, but it's definitely not like um, like a Rhodia or Clairefontaine where it takes like eight years to dry. Um, it, it goes pretty quickly, like it's already pretty much dry. Um, and then I do my second layer. And that's it. That is how I do my ink samples. Um, the second layer, of course, will take much longer to dry. And that's just how fast it's done. So I really like a lot of this. Uh, it's convenient. It keeps it all in one places. You could hang it. You could do whatever you want. Um, I love the, the paper in here. Um, I like the, the sturdy cardboard design. Um, you know, I like that it's easily accessible to everyone. Uh, occasionally, these will get caught up in the binding here. Um, but it's not too bad. Um, it's not very expensive, which I like, and you get a lot of sheets, which I also like. Um, one potential downside I can see to this uh, is that because it's just kind of like open and you can do whatever you want with, uh, it could, the pages could get wrecked, um, as well as like, it does tend to slide like this on my desk because I'm not the neatest person in the world. Um, so if you do have your samples <clears throat> out and about like this or whatever kind of thing, um, and sunlight gets to it, it can, or it will degrade the quality of your ink sample. Um, so what I've been doing is after, um, I have them set up here, I'll keep them in here until I've done a writing sample. Um, and then I actually remove this, um, page from the ring uh, and I put it in my ink swab book um, so that way it stays away from the sunlight um, and it doesn't cause any issues uh, but I really do like the paper that's in here um, I think it's really good paper so that's why I do it that way um, but either way I think it's really a neat idea uh, would I recommend picking it up yeah I would um, I think it's it's kind of cool this is dry already I think it's a little tacky. Um, yeah. So guys, that's my review of the Color O-Ring ink testing book. Um, definitely get a chance if you can to, to grab one, um, especially if you do use a lot of inks. Um, if you don't, of course, it may not suit you, but I, uh, I think most people who are in the fountain pen world uh, like to sample some stuff. So guys, check it out. Uh, Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet so done so already. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday. Um, and hit that thumbs up if you haven't. Don't be afraid of that comment section below. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.